Yes, guys, and we are back with another YouTube video that I'm sure you guys will love. The perfect 424 version free. So make sure you are checking out this video. Make sure you are liking, commenting, and subscribing. Like I always say, this does help the algorithm. Thank you so much for the support, people. Also, check out the social media platforms. Links are in the description. Go follow them up right now. And make sure you're joining the Discord and joining the Patreon crew. But let's get straight into this tactic and stop wasting your time. And here we are with the first team we tested the tactic with. We are with Bayer Leverkusen, a.k.a. Never Cruising. But we have changed their fortune and they have finally won the Bundesliga title. 34 games played, 25 games won, 3 draws and 6 losses. 70 goals scored, 24 goals conceded and a points tally of 78. We see Leipzig in second place with 68. Bayern Munich with 66, 12 points behind us. And Borussia Dortmund absolutely falling off and finishing in sixth place on 57 points. And we move straight into the statistics. We can see, obviously, most points per game would be Leverkusen. Most goals, they did score 70. Borussia Dortmund in second place with 63. Most shots for, they were first place. Then fewest shots against, they were in third place. Best pass completion, nowhere to be seen. Most possession in seventh place there. Most tackles won, nowhere to be seen. Most dribbles made, nowhere to be seen as well. Most clean sheets, they did finish in fifth place. Joint with two other teams on 14. And then the fewest goals conceded, they are in third place, conceding 24. Wolfsburg conceding 22 and Bayern Munich also conceding 21. And we go over and check their data hub so we can see actually how this team has been performing. Goals per game, 2.06. Non-penalty expected goals per 90, 2.04. Conceded goals per 90, 0 0.71. Expected goals against per game, 0 0.86. And then shots per game, absolutely smashing the league average. We can see 18.8. Five, six. And we have tested this tactic using Arsenal as well, being the second team. And you can see Arsenal finished in second place. However, we have done a madness like we've done with Leverkusen. And we have finally helped Arsenal to win the Champions League. Let's go, bruv. Arsenal having never won a European trophy. I mean, there, there's some other trophy that they talk about. I don't even know the name of it, so whatever. But I'm going to take all the digs I can take in this video. But Arsenal have won the Champions League. So props to them. Obviously, this is using the updated transfer. So basically playing FM24 with like Declan Rice there, Kai Havertz, Timber and whatnot. So if you want a tutorial on that, make sure you check my YouTube out. I have got a tutorial on how you can download the updated transfers. But anyways, back to the tactic video. Obviously, Arsenal finished in second place. They have won the Champions League. They did lose the FA Cup quarterfinal and fourth round in the Carabao Cup to Luton Town, Big L. And they were runners-up in the Community Shield. So Arsenal winning one trophy and a decent title charge. In terms of that, they actually scored more goals and got a way better goal difference than Man City. But let's get straight into the statistics and actually have a look at what's going on. Then into the statistics, we can see obviously Arsenal with 110 goals. Man City on 102 most shots, we have Arsenal obviously top there. Fewest shots against Arsenal in fourth place. Best pass completion, Arsenal nowhere to be seen. Most possession, Arsenal in sixth place with 55. Most tackles won, Arsenal nowhere to be seen. Dribbles made, nowhere to be seen. Most clean sheets, they were actually fourth with only 15. And then fewest conceded, they were third place on 29. Liverpool and Man United both on 27. In terms of the player overview, we have most goals. Obviously, it's Erling Haaland. No one is outscoring this flipping guy. Got Gabriel Jesus joint with Lukaku and Edward on 23. And then Martinelli on 18 there. We have most assists. We have Martin Odegaard picking up 23 assists in the Premier League. So, he has broken that Premier League record. We got Saka on 16 as well. Most shots four. We have Kai Havertz in joint third. Most Man of the matches, we have Kai Havertz in third and we have Jesus also joint third with seven. Most key passes, obviously, Martin Odegaard. Best pass completion, we have Gabriel and Saliba, both our centre-back. Most tackles won, we have Saka in fourth place. Most clean sheets, we have Aaron Ramsdale in fourth place. 
And then few is conceded, obviously Aaron Ramsdale joint second with Allison, both on 26. And finally, for the last team we have tested the tactic with, we have used Paris Saint-Germain. In terms of them winning the league, they have won the league like you do expect them to do. However, it has been pure dominance. We have 34 games played, 30 games won, three draws and one loss. They scored 124 goals and only conceded 25. Goal difference, 99. 93 points. Shout out to PSG. In terms of the rest of their competitions, obviously Champions League, they were knocked out in the round of 16 by Man City. But they did win the French Cup and they did win the Trophy de Champions. So it is a domestic treble for PSG. Moving straight over into the statistics for PSG. We have most goals, obviously 124. Most shots, PSG again. Fewest conceded shots against, sorry. We have PSG there again. Best pass completion there, nowhere to be seen there. Most possession in 7th place with 54. Most tackles won, nowhere to be seen. Most dribbles made 8th place. Most clean sheets, they are third place on 14. And then fewest conceded, 25 for PSG. And in terms of the player overview as well, we have Kylian Skrillian scoring 42 goals. Gonzalo Ramos picking up 19. Most assists, we have Baratti and Mbappe there as well. Most shots, we have Kylian top of the list as well with Gonzalo in seventh. Man of the matches, Kylian picking up 13. Most Key passes, we have Baratti in first place and Kylian joint sip. Best pass completion, no one to be seen there. Most tackles won, no one there. Most dribbles made, we have Akimi in fourth place. Most clean sheets, we have Donnarumma joint second and then fewest conceded, Donnarumma in third place as well. In terms of PSG's data hub, this is how it looks. We have goals per game, 3.65. Non-penalty expected goals per 90, 2.98. Conceded per game, 0.74. Expected goals against per game, 0.73. And shots per game, staggering 25.74, bro. We are going to break down the perfect 4-2-4 formation right now. But before we do that, people... And this video has been sponsored by Ultimate Champions. And what Ultimate Champions is, is a free-to-play fantasy football game with officially licensed digital cards. And you have the potential to earn money and earn rewards in the game. So this is how the platform looks like. Obviously, this is my current squad right now. I have created a league for the Muller gang. Also, you have tournaments. This is where you can earn money by basically facing other managers using your current team. Then you have the marketplace where you can purchase more players. Then you have packs as well that you can also purchase. And then you have your collection where you can see all the players that are in your squad. Make sure you are signing up using the link in my description. And here we are with the perfect 424 version 3. And we've opted with two attacking mids instead of two wingers. But let's get straight into the breakdown and stop wasting any more of your time. First up in goal, we have a sweeper keeper on defend with no further instructions. We have a full back on support with the instructions sit narrower. Our right back on support, the same instructions, sit narrower. Two ball playing defenders with no further instructions. Then we have a ball winner midfielder on support with no further instructions in the DM spot. We have a segundo volante with no further instructions on support. Then we have an attacking midfielder on attack with the instructions, run wide with the ball, roam from position and tackle harder. Then we have an advanced playmaker on support with the instructions, old position. Then we have an advanced forward on the left with no further instructions and an advanced forward on the right. We have told him to tackle harder and also dribble more. The tactical style is clean slate or custom and then the mentality is a balanced mentality. In possession, we have gone with passing to space, passing directness short and tempo slightly higher. In the final third, low crosses. In transition, counter press, counter roll it out and we have not selected who we are distributing the ball to and then our possession we go over high press and a standard line of defense trigger press much more often and prevent short goalkeeper distribution shout out to the boy zinclo for whipping up this tactic right here don't forget people to hit that like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next youtube video